Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcasting to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Clashes between Muslim Palestinians and Israeli security forces at the Temple Mount continues for the third consecutive day. Qatar is promoting a project to have the Gaza Strip hooked up to a natural gas pipeline from Israel. The Islamic State claims it succeeded to smuggle more than 4,000 of its men into Europe among the refugees fleeing the conflict zones in the Middle East. Clashes between Muslim Palestinians and Israeli security forces at the Temple Mount continue this morning for the third consecutive day. According to the police, the moment the Temple Mount was open to visitors, Muslim rioters began throwing stones towards the entrance. Police and border guard officers then entered the compound in response, at which point the rioters fled inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque and began throwing stones, concrete blocks and fireworks at the security forces. The clashes erupted due to Jewish and other non-Muslims who, as part of the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, seek to visit the Holy Shrine, where it is believed that both biblical temples once stood. Israel does not permit non-Muslims to pray at the premise as part of the peace agreement reached with Jordan. However, Muslims occasionally riot against religious Jewish visitors whom are calling to change the status quo by allowing all people the right to worship at the site. Nonetheless, during a meeting between the Jordanian King Abdullah and British Prime Minister David Cameron, the Jordanian monarch warned the ongoing violence may well strain the relations between Israel and the Hashemite Kingdom. We have uh, gotten reassurances from the, from the Israeli government that uh, this will not happen. Unfortunately, these are reassurances we've heard in the past. So I'd like to state uh, in your presence that if this uh, continues to happen, uh, actually as of today, uh, any more provocations in, in Jerusalem uh, will affect the relationship between Jordan and Israel, and Jordan will have no choice but, but to take uh, action. Meanwhile, the U.S. State Department voiced concern about the violence at the Temple Mount, calling on all sides to exercise restraint. The United States is deeply concerned by the recent violence and escalating tensions surrounding the Haram al-Sharif Temple Mount. We strongly condemn all acts of violence. It is absolutely critical that all sides exercise restraint, refrain from provocative actions and rhetoric, and preserve unchanged the historic status quo on the Haram al-Sharif Temple Mount, in word and in practice. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu convened his cabinet after the tension escalated at the site, following which he reiterated Israel's commitment to keeping the status quo at the site, but stressed that it was Israel's right and duty to act against rioters to protect freedom of worship at the premise. Now to another matter, Qatar is promoting a project to have the Gaza Strip hooked up to a natural gas pipeline from Israel. This hookup is anticipated to ramp up the production of electricity in the Gaza Strip by tens of percentage points. Israeli officials have examined the proposal and a decision was made to begin preparatory work once the political echelon was apprised of the developments. Palestinian sources said that the Qatari representative to the Gaza Strip, Muhammad al-Ahmadi, who currently resides in Gaza, met with a senior Israeli official last week and discussed the matter. Qatar promised to finance the required infrastructure for the gas pipeline project, costing some $10 million. The Qatari representative also spoke with members of the Israeli private sector regarding the possibility of building solar fields in the Israeli territory to produce 100 megawatts of electricity for the Hamas-ruled Palestinian enclave. Now to Israel's eastern neighbor, where British Prime Minister David Cameron, who is on an official visit to the region, announced the UK will receive 20,000 Syrian refugees from Jordan and other countries. We'll be taking 20,000 uh, Syrian refugees straight out of refugee camps uh, here in uh, Jordan and elsewhere and give them a home in our country. I absolutely agree uh, with Your Majesty that we need to continue to um, face up to the global threat of terrorism, which we see uh, in such uh, evidence with, uh, with ISIL, with Daesh uh, in, in Syria and the threat they pose uh, to the whole region and in Iraq. 
The British Prime Minister visited a UN refugee camp in the Jordanian capital Amman, where he met Syrian children forced to flee their civil war-stricken country. The Syrian civil war, which according to estimates has killed close to half a million people since 2011, has forced half of all Syrians from their homes, creating 4 million refugees and displacing some 7.6 million more within the country. In related news, the Islamic State has reportedly claimed that it has succeeded to smuggle more than 4,000 of its men into Europe among the refugees fleeing the conflict zones in the Middle East. According to an Islamic State operative who spoke on condition of anonymity to BuzzFeed, the extremist group has actively smuggled deadly militants across the sparsely guarded Turkish border and onto European nations through the same routes taken by refugees and migrants. The Islamic State claims that there are currently more than 4,000 covert ISIL gunmen ready across the European Union. The Islamist operative said the uncover infiltration was the beginning of a larger plot to carry out revenge attacks in the West in retaliation for the U.S.-led coalition airstrikes against Islamic State targets. Now, with regard to the nuclear agreement with Iran, with two days before U.S. lawmakers are expected to vote on whether to approve the nuclear deal that would safeguard President Barack Obama's long-sought agreement with the Islamic Republic, Iranian Foreign Minister Muhammad Javad Zarif, during a meeting with his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi, called on the United States to respect their commitment with regard to the nuclear accord and remove all economic sanctions against Tehran. اما در مورد آینده برجام و تغییرات سیاسی در آمریکا بر اساس حقوق بین الملل دولت ها متعهد به تعهداتی هستند که در حوزه بین المللی میپذیرند و دولت آمریکا قبول کرده که از اجرای تحریم ها به صورت مستمر خودداری بکنه و این با تغییر رئیس جمهور و یا تصمیم گیری های داخلی آمریکا تغییر نخواهد the Iranian top diplomat stressed that it was regrettable that people in America, as well as in regional countries, including Israel, are seeking to advance another conflict in the region, which they believe would bring about a different reality, rather than seeking the agreed-upon peaceful solution. China, which played a role in the negotiations with Tehran as part of the P5 plus 1, which represented the international community in the nuclear talks with the Islamic Republic, called on all sides to firmly stick to the key principles of the agreement. Thank you for watching us. You can also watch us at TV7, IsraelNews.com or TV7.fi. For any comments, please send your emails to IsraelNews at TV7.fi. For more updates from Israel and the region, please join our Facebook page at TV7 Israel News. Praying for the peace of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. Jonathan Hassan, have a Erev Tov and Shana Tova. We will see you again tomorrow at the same time.